It definitely will be fun. Um, kind of like an NBA schedule. All you got to do is play basketball. Um, so it gives us a lot of time to come together, get in the gym, um, you know, perfect, perfect things that you've been working on throughout the season. Um, so, you know, it's a blessing that, we, that we're able to just, you know, our main focus is basketball. So it's a lot of stuff going on in the world, but our main focus is basketball. So that's a blessing. What's it been like the last couple of weeks? Have y'all been able to practice much, or has it been kind of just split between studies and basketball? And um, I mean, we we definitely been practicing, but I think with finals and all that stuff, coach has given us you know a little bit of time to let our bodies heal a little bit, and be on our own schedules to finish the semester strong with school. And like you just said, we finished up, and so now it's all practice, all be in the gym, all coming together again. So. It was a good little time off, but yeah, it's, it's ready to get back into the gym again. Caleb, what specifically are you kind of working on now that you've got a little bit more time to get in the gym over these next couple of weeks? Um, I think just continually to work on my shot, you know, being able to hit open shots, um, help spread the floor a little bit, and then I'll just say still working on my body, working on my feet, and kind of figuring out ways to help this team win in whatever way I can. Deontay, it's kind of the Push now. You got a few games before you play Iowa State in the Big 12 Open. Is it just kind of polished things? Just kind of work on a few things y'all need to work on. Um, you know, we play a good Washington State um team, um, a couple of days, and then we can play, you know, um, some quality games to, like you said, kind of perfect some things, kind of see what we need to work on before you know we go into Big 12 play. Um, but uh, me personally, I really feel like we're at a good spot. Um, we got ways to go, but, you know, this team can always get better in different ways. Um, so, you know, like I said, we're just taking these games to go out there, play hard, um, seize the moment, and then we get in the conference play. You know, it's only up from there. Um, I think it just shows, you know, how deep we are as a team. Um, you know, Adam had, you know, some aches and pains. Um, so was LJ. Um, but we had guys like Langston step up. You know, Dell was running the, running the offense. Um, so it was just good to see um, and good for everybody else to see um, that we have multiple players on the team that can do different things. They don't just have to stick in a box. Um, so we, we're a really versatile team, and it was great to get that win, um, kind of pick up um, – you know, Adam and LJ. Yeah, it's definitely exciting. We all want to, you know, that's kind of our dreams um, to play, you know, in the NBA. And we get a chance to play in the NBA arena. Um, so it would be a, you know, like it's a blessing to be able to pay, play in an arena like that. Not everybody gets the opportunity to do that. Um, so we'll go out there, play hard, and have fun. I've never, I've never played in the American Airlines Center, so definitely it'll be fun for me. I grew up going to games. I'm a Mavericks fan at heart, so it'll be a good time to be with the team on that court. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's always always great on the back end of uh, finals. Guys have a little more pep in their step, get a good night's rest, uh, and now just get focused on basketball. And then the uh, concerns for coaches are always the the long way over, and then uh, making sure that they're focused on uh, the games before Christmas. Uh, you expect Adam and LJ to play? Yeah, they practiced uh, yesterday. Looked good, so um, hopefully both of them will be good to go, and hopefully we won't get anyone injured or sick between now and game time. <laughs> Yeah, is that bug still going around? Are you I, I, well, we, we got rid of all the students, so I think we're okay now. <laughs> but uh, no, everyone everyone seems to be doing well and getting to sleep in and get rest. Yeah, Washington State uh, uh, is a team that they've had their share of injuries, a couple season-ending injuries, but uh, – uh, last year, uh, they had a winning record in conference, and uh, um, coach has done a great job in uh, uh, getting them to really uh, play an analytical basketball, which is finish at the rim or shoot a lot of threes. They're coming off a game this year where they had 19 threes, broke the school record. So uh, it's a team where uh, all of them uh, uh, 
one through four really like to shoot the three, and and then uh, Muhammad Gay is a, a real long, athletic big who uh, has some YouTube dunks and blocks that people like looking at. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, don't know if Dennis will be at the game, but uh, 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 similar to Dennis, skilled player, yeah. meaning uh, knows how to play, has a good feel, um, pass as well. So uh, uh, probably shoots it better than his dad, but I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So the advantages are you can you can get multiple practices in. Uh, you don't have to worry about being rushed in film sessions, walkthroughs, anything like that because uh, uh, there's nothing they need to study for. No uh, um, meetings they have. Uh, so it, it, it's great to as as long as you navigate uh, uh, making sure. Um, the business is business because around the holidays, people tend to uh, be thinking about the exciting uh, Christmas break, and we got to make sure we got business to take care of before that break. We go a little further out. Um, conference is obviously getting closer. How do you feel about where your team's at and yeah. what steps they need to take to get that done? Well, I think, uh, uh, like everybody in the Big 12, you know what uh, the grind is ahead of you, and uh, you're trying to uh, take this time in the next uh, couple weeks, uh, not only to refresh and regroup over the, the holiday break, which could be three, four, five days, depending on your situation schedule, but uh, making sure that you have everything in that you need in before conference. And uh, you, because there's so many one possession games, you really have to be on point. So this is, uh, uh, they just finished the academic finals. It's the next couple of weeks will be basketball finals, meaning make sure everybody knows every game ending situation, exactly what to do, what not to do. So when we go into conference, uh, we're fully prepared for whatever we face and see. Uh, definitely, uh, um, the, the, they've played well, and uh, but they're human. And when when you play well, and your 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 family, friends, loved ones, uh, teammates feel great about what you're doing, it's easier to be confident. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, Dale, uh, uh, especially on the defensive end, has really made some uh, uh, terrific plays. And uh, on the offensive end, he's so sound and does such a great job in uh, uh, taking care of the ball and getting assists. Uh, and his scoring is uh, uh, um, when he's open, he makes him pay, but he doesn't force stuff. And uh, Langston, somebody, when, when the brace came off, I thought there was a different different player out there. And he's worked really hard in his rehab. And um, throughout the year, we just expect him to get better and better. Yeah, well, it, sometimes uh, 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 there's a blessing in the last couple of years. We called it a starting rotation instead of starting lineup. And, I mean, nowadays with uh, different uh, viruses and injuries and whatnot, you better have some depth. And uh, it, it, playing uh, uh, more guys early in the year is always better than playing less because then when they need more minutes, they're, they're ready and, and have had that early season experience. But we're really blessed, fortunate that we get better in practice because um, we have great depth. And then in the games, whoever we put in should play hard because they know if they don't, um, we have someone else who will. Scott, what are, what are y'all doing better defensively since that Marquette game? Well, the, first and foremost, we're doing a better job guarding the ball. And then we're providing much better help for the ball. Um, and I think. Uh, uh, we're fine with people making tough shots over us. We just don't want uh, people getting uh, uncontested shots and, and uh, thought we were too extended, leaving the uh, defenders on islands. And, and now they have help and, and we're more compact. Oh, uh, I mean, you, you watch uh, the Mavs play on TV and um, you walk into an arena like that and uh, you, you've seen – uh, the greats all play there, and, and now you have a chance to be on that court. So I know for our guys, it's their first time in the American Airlines Arena. They're really excited. For those that have been there, um, they love playing in uh, uh, venues like that. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate you guys.